It was quite literally the biggest day in Ashton and Backwell's short history. Formed in 2010 following a merger between two local clubs, this was a celebration of their recent promotion to the Western League. Plenty of preparations went into the fixture and a sellout crowd was in town for the visit of League One Bristol City. It's been a little bit stressful today. Um, obviously we're not used to anything on this scale, um, but you know, something we've all, we've all uh, jumped into both feet. The idea for the community friendly fixture was a brainchild of head coach Sean O'Driscoll. Hopefully there'll be a lot of people that have never been here, you know, it's a nice little village, it's a nice, you know, we've just had a little run out from, from, uh, um, from the city ground and, um, you know, when we're not playing a, a hole, maybe, you know, one of the people will drift along here, you know, with a nice little bar there and uh, it's a lovely setting, so who knows if they get one or two, if they get one or two more supporters then good, but, you know, not the obvious thing is that, that you know, they'll, they'll collect the gate receipts tonight, so, you know, that'll be a, a welcome boost for them. It wasn't just about the game itself. The Community Trust brought their community park on the road to Lancer Scott Stadium. Youngsters were able to enjoy free football and skill sessions, courtesy of the Trust, who already operate coaching sessions in the area. It's really, really good to see Bristol City out and about in the community when we decided to set the Community Trust up two or three years ago. This was exactly the sort of event that I was very much hoping that would happen and it's absolutely brilliant to see you know, the football club right at the very heart of one of its local communities. When we talk about community, this is exactly the sort of event that we mean, bringing our supporters and, and local people and hopefully getting a few more Bristol City fans into the bargain. Been doing this for quite a long time, it's always well received and it's always a sellout because you, you, you take the club to, to clubs that you, know, you take your professional team to clubs that don't usually, well, would never, would never, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't get a letter from Ashton and Backwell saying could you be in the first team unless it was a, you know, we're trying to raise money for some good cause. But uh, so I suggest it. I think you know the club should be more proactive, and not wait to be asked. So uh, you know, hopefully this will be a tradition, and, and next pre-season it'll be a, another club that will benefit. Ashton and Backwell are now looking for the longer-term benefits as well as banking in excess of £10,000 from this fixture. It means a huge amount, um, you know, the, the obvious uh, initial, uh, the initial thing is the financial side. Um, it, it's enabled us to, to start renovations on, on, on the clubhouse and, and things like that, which, which otherwise we would have had to have, you know, put off and put off until we had the, the spare funds around. Um, in terms of the commercial side, I mean, if you have a look around the ground, you see all the, the sponsor signs. Um, you know, we, we've gathered probably two or three times what we would normally uh, attract. Um, the, the stadium's been sponsored, um, suggesting in general, it's from that perspective, it's been great. Um, and hopefully, what we're really hoping is, we, is that we can uh, capture the imagination of the Backwell public, um, because you know most home games we have our loyal band of five or six, um, you know maybe ten on a good day. Um, but it would be really nice for the local community to to start coming along and supporting us next season in the Tool Station League.